Good morning and happy birthday, Blessed Virgin Mary. Today is September the 8th and it is the feast day of the, bap uh, not the baptism, the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary. One of only three birthdays celebrated by the Universal Church. Christmas being the biggie, the birth of Jesus Christ, Savior of the world. Then the birth of the Blessed Mother today. And there's a June 24th is the uh, birthday of John the Baptist, the great forerunner of our Savior. So those are the only three birthdays because the ancient world being born is no accomplishment. It's how you live your life that matters, as it should be both us. We're both concerned about how people are born because uh, we want to celebrate life. So what you make of your life as cheesy as it sounds, is your gift back to God that God wisely chose, as he did with everybody, in sharing with you the gift of life. You will not find the birth of Mary in the Bible, nor should any Catholic ever worry about that. You know, we believe in a number of things that aren't in the Bible, and that is perfectly fine. Christ, when he ascended into glory, gave us the seeds of scripture, which wasn't the Bible yet, the preaching of the gospel, the guardians of said seeds of scripture, the apostles, and also ways to celebrate what is proclaimed in the gospels, the sacraments, and our sacred traditions. Those three together are given to us by Christ. The earliest is the apostles, a community of faith. The next development are their traditions of celebrating baptism and the Eucharist and the other sacraments and very simple professions of faith. And they were uh, really concurrent with the development of scripture because, you know, we have the preaching of St. Paul through his letters. And then we have the writing down of the Gospels by the Evangelist. And then the other Catholic letters and the book of Revelation. All of those help us to know God. No Catholic should ever worry about the phrase, where is that found in the Bible? And uh, I would just respond, well, where does it say that your faith has to be rooted solely on Scripture? I mean, that's a... Martin Luther phrase, scripture alone, because they had to reject the other two things for the most part. Uh, the authority of the church, they gave the authority to the individual over the community. And then um, really a rejection of the sacraments for the most part, except for baptism. Because, because baptism is so prevalent in scripture, they... Uh, all Christians do that. And oddly enough, how come they never raise the question, why can't you baptize yourself? I mean, why can't you? Why do you have to receive baptism from another? Why can't you baptize yourself? You can't. Well, we believe that really about all the sacraments. The sacraments are an expression of Christ in the community. So you can never give yourself a sacrament. You receive it from the community. You receive it really from God through the community. So anyway, happy birthday, Mary. Uh, it's a tradition of the church that started in the second century, which probably means the discussion of it happened in the first century as people ask questions. What, what's the story of Mary, the mother of our Lord? What do we know about her? And so you had the proto-evangelicum of St. James, <clears throat> And that helps us to know the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's sacred tradition. It may not be 100% factual. In fact, it may be uh, almost 0% factual or maybe closing in on 100%. We don't know. But it's accepted as uh, devotional literature and not considered contradictory to the faith. It gives us the name of Mary's parents, Joachim and Anne, as a pious 
holy Jewish couple, and some details about the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So again, happy birthday, Blessed Virgin Mary. You are our model of faith, the mother of the church, model of true discipleship. You show us how to love Jesus Christ. Peace, everybody. Happy birthday, Blessed Mother.